flexible and reliable. It is suitable for working environments with poor road conditions, such as mountainous areas, hills, small plots of farmland, and paddy fields with water depth less than 30 centimeters. Before using the machine, users must read the manual carefully to ensure proper use of the machine and personal safety. Untrained people shouldn't use this product. 1. Product Structure Grain Unloading Tank, Threshing Tank Cover, Reel, Grain Lifter, Top Header, Bottom Header, Straw Walker, Gearbox, Auger, Track Wheel, Transmission Belt Cover, Threshing Drum, Engine and Control Panel. 2. Preparation Work 1. Check whether the 85 weight or number 90 lubricant is added according to requirements. The oil level should reach the median scale mark between the highest and lowest scale marks of the dipstick, about 2.5 liters of lubricant. 2. Engine 1. Lubricant Use SECC 10W30 all-purpose engine oil for gasoline and diesel engines, about 1.1 liters. The oil level should reach the median scale mark between the highest and lowest scale marks of the dipstick. 2. Fuel Oil A. Gasoline Engine Use number 93 gasoline. Open the oil tank cover and then add about 5 liters number 93 gasoline into the oil tank. The amount of the oil added shouldn't exceed 80% of the capacity of the tank. Close the cover and open the oil switch. B. Diesel Engine Use number 0 diesel. Open the oil tank cover and then add about 3 liters diesel into the tank. The amount of diesel added shouldn't exceed 80% of the capacity of the tank. Close the cover and open the oil switch. Diesel Engine Air Cleaner Check whether the air cleaner is blocked. Add 50 grams lubricant to the bottom oil cup. 3. Hydraulic Oil Can Check the hydraulic oil can and add proper amount of number 46 anti-wear hydraulic oil. 3. Grease should be added to the frictional parts of bearings, oscillating bearings, gearboxes, chain wheels, connecting rods and top and bottom cutters. The type of the grease is number 3 lithium base grease. 4. Examine the whole machine. 1 whether the bolts and protective covers of the structural parts are loose. 2. Whether the triangle belt and chains of the transmission part are too tight or too loose. 3. Whether all parts of the control part are adjusted properly for normal use. 2. Start. Strictly forbid the running of engine in an enclosed room to avoid carbon monoxide poisoning. Climb up or down a slope by backing the harvester when the slope is steep. When the harvester is climbing up or down a slope, the right and left bodies should run in parallel, otherwise the harvester turns over easily. Before starting the engine, check the surroundings, purge debris, and keep other people away from the harvester to avert accidents. Wear proper skin-tight clothes and safety devices during work. 1. The gear of the engine is in neutral position. 2. As for gasoline engines, close the choke valve. As for diesel engines, press the pressure-reducing valve. 3. Rotate the throttle switch counterclockwise to the one-third position of the travel. 4. Rotate the starting switch to open. Then rotate the starting switch to start and keep it there for 3 to 5 seconds to start the engine. 5. As for gasoline engine, Rotate the choke valve switch to open after starting the engine, not suitable for diesel engines. 6. After starting the engine, check whether all control systems operate flexibly and smoothly one by one, whether the engine and all moving parts run normally without abnormal noises. The steps of examination are as follows. A. Put the threshing clutch handle on close to check whether grain lifter, feeding, 
threshing and lifting parts run normally. Meanwhile, operate the hydraulic handle of the header to check whether the top header goes up and down normally. B. Push the bottom cutter clutch handle to close to check whether the bottom cutter operates normally. Push forward and pull back the bottom cutter to check whether the bottom cutter goes up and down normally. When the harvester travels, the bottom cutter should be lifted to the highest position. When the harvester reaps, the distance between the bottom cutter and the ground should be not less than 14 centimeters. 3. Put the gear shift in each gear and step on the clutch to check whether the harvester runs normally in all gears. Meanwhile, operate the left and right steering handle to check whether the harvester turns around flexibly. D. Turn the left and right lights on to check whether they light up. Stop the machine, let out all control handles, and put the throttle switch on the minimum position. Now the diesel engine stops. Then rotate the starting switch to the close position. The harvester can be used in patties only if the above checks prove that it runs normally. Transport by harvester. Get on the harvester, get off the harvester, and climb up and down a slope. The harvester is flexible and suitable for terraces and small fields, featuring fast speed, flexible direction changing, less grain lost on the ground, better threshing performance, low tailing rates, and lower damaged grain rates. The harvester can also operate flexibly and normally in paddies with water depth less than 30 centimeters. It can be used in all fields with complicated conditions where some large machines can't operate. 3. Matters need attention. 1. Keep all bystanders away from the harvester in the harvest to avert personal injuries. 2. When adding fuel oil or examining the machine, keep the engine in stop state. Attention, use a funnel while adding oil, no fire, and keep fuel oil away from high temperature devices. 3. The best conditions of harvesting wheat and rice, lower water content and the mature rate of over 95%. Reduce the feeding amount when reaping dense fields of wheat and rice. 4. The top cutter should be adjusted to the position about 10 centimeters high than the bottom end of rice and wheat to avoid blocks caused by the excess amounts of straws fed into the harvester. Picture marked with height. 5. The distance between the bottom cutter and the ground shouldn't be less than 14 centimeters to avoid the damage of the bottom cutter by keeping it from knocking against something hard. 3. Lubrication and maintenance. Users should add or change the engine oil and lubricant regularly, according to the manual. 1. Matters need attention in starting the harvester. 1. Before starting the harvester, check whether the engine and gearbox lack engine oil, whether each lubricant part lacks lubricant. 2. Before starting the harvester, check whether fastening bolts are loose. 3. Check whether tracks are too loose or too tight. Purge away sludge, grass, stone, or other foreign matters from the tracks and the chassis. 4. Lubricant should be added to the moving parts of the grain lifter, top cutter, top header eccentric wheel, bottom cutter, external travel chain, unloading device, external unloading chain, and external grain lifter chain every three to five hours in the harvest. 2. Change engine oil of the engine and gearbox after 20 hours for the first use. Then change the engine oil of the engine every 50 hours. Engine oil of the gearbox every 150 hours for later use. 3. Maintenance of the harvester after the harvest season. After the harvest season, rinse each parts of the harvester. After drying up the harvester in the sun, add lubricant to all moving parts. Start the machine for running in for several minutes and then re-add lubricant. Then drain fuel oil out of the fuel oil tank. Paint the peeling parts with anti-rust paint and then paint them with varnish. Then stop the machine in a dry warehouse without sulfuric acid, alkali salt, and corrosive chemicals. After use, brush the throttle cable, gear chain, grain lifter operating cable, bottom cutter lifting cable, 
bottom cutter clutch cable and steering cable with gasoline one time upon each press of the cables for 20 consecutive times. Then brush them with engine oil one time upon each press of them for 20 consecutive times. For the maintenance of top and bottom cutters and various chains, brush them with gasoline for 10 times, then engine oil 5 times while the machine is running. Finally, store the harvester. Maintenance of the battery. Race the machine for 30 minutes every month. Recharge the battery for maintenance or recharge it by using dedicated chargers. Chongqing Homemade Technology Company Limited, July 2015.